Oh my goodness, it's day 30. It is the second last day of the year and I am overwhelmed, scared, excited. Melancholy. Oh, it's the end of a year, or the end of a terrible year for everybody, and the start of a new year. So we'll see how that goes, shall we? <laughs> um, so for this prompt, I am doing Beautiful Dreamers. And I started out with Jane's washi tape because it was just sitting on my desk. And I wanted to sort of emulate a little hill. Um, and yes, I did put a nice big scratch in my acrylic block, uh, block but it's fine. Um, and I wanted to use this unicorn stamp. So I put it on <laughs> big thanks to uh, one of the ladies in Jane's Facebook group that suggested I put my um, put a mouse mat underneath the um uh the piece in order to get a better or a clearer stamping image thank you so much for the person who told me that I won't say your name due to privacy reasons but thank you I really appreciate that because it's a good idea so I just had this old sims um mouse mat hanging around since oh a very long time and then I'm going over the top of the washi tape with uh gesso uh Jane's gesso just because I wanted to sort of push the eyes into the background that little bit but still be able to see them and I've used the squid ink obviously for the stamps and yeah I mean I just wanted this to be sort of a mystical or rather ethereal piece I'm using Jane's watercolors which I've put into a, a larger tin so I have access to all of them um found it on uh it's a Medine one or Meden one on Amazon somewhere eBay um, but the background is also watercolour, so it's um, mixing slightly with the gold that's down there. Um, I think the watercolour underneath is actually by Prima. Um, but Jane's, Jane's watercolour went over the top really nicely. It just mixed a little bit with the gold, but I knew that was going to happen, so I just sort of lifted it later on. And I'm using the pink, uh, which is fairy tale. I think in Jane's and the purple, which is royal. And I wanted to give my my uh, unicorn just that little bit of a, a difference um, to blend in with the background, but to also stand out on its own. And um, I do like how this one looked. And I do dream about unicorns and mermaids and all those fantasy things all the time. I like to think to myself, you know, wow, how cool would it be? If I had magic powers, you know, I could literally just fill all of my cupboards and boxes with Jane Davenport art supplies. And that would be a really good New Year's resolution. Get the whole set. <laughs> oh, dear. Now I'm going over the top, uh, well, just around the outside, sorry, with the uh, <laughs> unicorn, funnily enough, paint over pen. Um, I didn't really like how it looked. Um, so you just, yeah, didn't really like how it looked, but I did save it by going back over the top of the unicorn with the stamp again. So I sort of give a little bit more definition and things like that. And it looks really good. Well, I think it looks really good. Um, adding little stars and hearts everywhere because, well, stars and hearts are, are cool. Um... Yeah, so this piece wasn't overly complicated. It didn't take very long. I think it was maybe hmm, ooh, half an hour, nearly 40 minutes, maybe. I wasn't looking to go like properly over the top with it. Um, I was just sort of having a play. And I'm using the glitzy markers because I've used them every day. Oh, not every day. No, I was wrong. I lied with that. Not that that's a problem. I do like my glitzy markers. Oh, and I found out just this afternoon, I'm going to have to buy more paint over pens because some of them are starting to dry out. I know. How sad. Oh, well. Um, one of Jane's stamps over the top of the washi tape just to give it that little bit of oomph. And I'm think I'm basically done. Yep, I am. Beautiful dreamers. Day 30. One left. Oh, this has been bittersweet. Oh, so bittersweet. But yes, 
I really hope you liked today's prompt, beautiful dreamer. I really like the unicorn stamp. Very adorable. Very cute. Very mystical. Yeah, and of course, got to have my little sparkly bits. I love my sparkle. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.